Hey, it's Fergie with Recording Crave. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Just a quick video addressing someone's question on my mixing horns video that I did several years ago. Um, this is in regards to the reverb I used on the horns. Now, if I remix this today, uh, maybe I'd come out with a different result on the uh, reverb, but I will go over what I did at that time. And you know, it's a very much a taste thing. You know, you might do it different. So we'll just take a quick listen to the song just to give us ourselves a refresher here. Okay, that's the intro to this song, Make Me Smile, a cover. So let's solo up the horns and let's listen to what that sounds like. Okay, so what I do here is on my submix of the horns on this aux channel here, I route all that signal over to this horn verb right here. And the verb I'm using here is from IK Multimedia, and I saved the preset here. But this is the ha classic hall verb that uh, I've used. You know, the reverbs from IK Multimedia are very underrated. You'll see some comments where people say they're too bright sounding or whatever. Well, the thing is, if you're just going for a preset, that preset might be too bright. And then you can go in and change that. And I will show you what I did here. So here is just the quick edit window. So this gives you just kind of a quick reference to change things. Here I have your mix knob, which I have all the way up because down here on this aux channel is where I control it. And then also on this aux slider here is where I also have it set too. So I can control the verb going out of the horn aux into the verb aux for the horns with this slider. And then I can control the amount that I use right here. So this mix is set all the way up. Diffusion is here. I usually don't mess with this too much. Reverb time is set here. And low time is set here. High frequency is set here. Now I tend to take the high end off. And then the damp is just that. So let's go take a look a little deeper into some more details on this. So in level I have it a negative 2.4. Usually I don't mess with that. Sometimes I'll just mess with the slider here, but for whatever reason I did that day, mix is 100%, which is on that first window we looked at. And then the image is a stereo image. On this time section here, we have reverb time at 0.97, which I think was on the uh, first window we looked at as well. Low time, 1.2. Crossover here, I'm just gonna let you look at this high frequency again. That was on the front window, the first window we looked at, and these two, these two were here. Pre-delay, um, I'm starting to use this a lot more, but here for this day, this was set at 10 milliseconds. Reverb on this uh, section here, the size is 37.5, diffusion 65%, build up there, disperse, modulation, color, which is more tone shaping. You can see where that is right there. And reflection, I didn't really mess with that at all. But most of it can be done right from this very first window for the the quick edits for the, some of the more uh, quick things that you do. So reverb time would be a big one. The uh, low time and then the high frequency cut here, this is a big one. Uh, for example, let's go. A lot more high end tail on that reverb. So when we cut it back, A lot more brightness on the tail when, when you hear that, when we crank it up. So that's pretty much the reverb. The classic call from MyK Multimedia. They have great reverbs. I would check them out if you haven't. Then what I did was I added this EQ after it for a little bit more shaping on that. So let's listen to what, what this is doing. Okay, that was on. Let's turn it off. Subtle, but you can hear we're taking some low end of that verb out and then just notching a little bit right here, 
looks like a 1.6 K on that and then some more top end just a little bit so very subtle but uh, that's what I did that day and that is the verb I used on there so I K multimedia the classic haul I use the classic plate a lot I have a ton of other reverbs that are really good as well but uh, these are were some of my first ones and I, I can dial in a sound a decent sound pretty quick so this is what I use so hopefully that was helpful thanks for watching if you're not a subscriber I would love it if you would subscribe and if this was a helpful video click that like button I'd appreciate it we'll see you in another video thanks